Yo, guys, what's good? Today, I'm going to go over how to become a powerful man that gets what he wants. I want you to play this video at, you know, two times speed if you can really comprehend at that speed because I'm going to be reading my notes. It's a lot and I'm going to try to keep this video as short as possible. But by the end of this video, I hope that you can take action on everything that I say in this video. And I want you to rewatch this video until you completely digest everything that I say, because I want you to become a powerful man that gets what he wants. The first topic, and yes, I am going to be reading my notes mostly throughout this video. So, you know, my eyes probably won't be looking at you the whole time. All right. First topic. And again, I might remake this video in the future to really have a lot of edits and show a lot of examples. But for this one, let's get into it. All right. First topic, mindset, right? As a man, your mindset is what will get you everything that you want from money to women. I'm sure you've heard of alpha and beta males, right? There's a huge misconception of what an alpha male actually is, though, right? To be an alpha, it's not about how you look, although looks do play a part. It's about how you think and how you act, right? That's what gets you what you want, right? Some of us have been alpha most of our lives, not all the time, but majority of our lives, we've done it subconsciously, right? The majority of you are beta and weak-minded because of how you were raised and what you constantly see on TV and on social media, right? Now, there's not just one type of alpha. From what I've researched, there are three main ones, and then there are, you know, there are subcategories, right? But the three main ones are what I'm going to focus on today, right? So before I describe the three, let me explain to you how some of you have been alpha before and are probably seen as alpha now and how you've done it subconsciously, right? So moments that you were probably alpha without trying, right? You took charge of a situation. People look to you to make an important decision, right? You assumed a role of leadership without even forcing it and people followed your lead. You know, this could be in sports or in a job, right? You walked into a room and everyone focused on you, right? Not to laugh at you or because you were late or you're the class clown or you ha you just had a presence about you and people felt it, right? You didn't have to try that hard to earn people's respect or attention, right? They were just ready to listen to you, right? Other men respect you and have told you that, right? You catch girls looking at you often, right? So here are two short stories of when I personally did some of these things subconsciously as well as consciously and didn't even realize slash understand why people did what they did, right? So one, story number one, I always got put into leadership roles without asking, right? I just talked and acted like I'm in charge. Not, I didn't, not, I didn't do these things in a giving order type of way. You know, I just started giving instructions and people followed my lead, right? This happened on sports teams that I played on in classrooms and even when hanging out with my friends, right? People either looked to me to make a decision or I made a decision and people went along with it, right? So story number two, right? Senior prom, me and my boys, three of us, you know, the two of us, you know, we were alpha by choice and the other one, he's still learning, right? Right now he's in the Air Force, right? But we walked in and everyone focused on us as if we were some kind of stars. Remember, how you act plays a role, right? Strong body language, tone of voice, confidence, and unbothered calmness are all extremely important to be seen as someone of importance and, in other words, an alpha, right? The main... Now, now I'm going to go over the three main types of alphas. I know I'm going pretty quickly, so I hope that you're really digesting what I'm telling you, right? So these three main types of alphas, see which one you fit under and then model yourself, right? From looks, attitude to vibe. I'll list some names of real men that fit these roles as well as cartoon and maybe anime characters, right? Now they fit these roles, but they you don't have to fit under one. You can fit under all three or just two of them, right? So here's alpha type number one, the slick right? You're classy and sophisticated. You're nonchalant. You dress sharply. You're ruthless in getting what you want. You prioritize facts over feelings. You don't speak a lot, but when you do speak, everyone listens, right? You are hardcore, but also calm and decisive, right? Women see you as the mystery guy, right? Some people and characters in real life and in, you know, TV shows and cartoons include Drake, right? Leonardo DiCaprio, Thomas Shelby from Peaky Blinders and Lionel Messi. You need Lionel Messi. <laughs> I'm messing up his name, right? So those are some of the slick type of people and characters, right? Here's number two, the player, right? You dress up here and there, but you don't worry too much about how you look, right? You speak often, you're ruthless in getting what you want, you have a bright aura around you. And of course, you're the ladies man type of guy, right? Some people and characters include, again, Leonardo DiCaprio, Drake. Now, 
Will Smith and Cristiano Ronaldo, right? I could list a bunch of others, but these are some pretty popular people that fit under this category, right? Lastly is the beast, right? The gym rat. You wear whatever fits you, right? Sometimes you're too aggressive, but deep down you're soft, right? You're aggressive in getting what you want, but you won't let anyone get in your way. And sometimes you're pretty loud, right? So some people include Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Conor McGregor, Floyd Mayweather, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Goku, Naruto, uh, Luffy from One Piece, Cristiano Ronaldo, and again, Lionel Messi, right? All three of these types of men have either one of these three mindsets and are in the top five to 20% of men that you see around the world. So mindset number one, CIA confident, intelligent, and assertive, right? This puts you in the top 20% of men, right? This will be where about 80% of you start growing and chill, right? There's nothing wrong with staying at this level if that's what you want. Mindset number two, CIA 2.0, right? You wanna add competitive, intriguing, and aggressive to the previous traits I mentioned. So that's confident, intelligent, assertive, competitive, intriguing, and, and aggressive, all together, right? This puts you in the top 10% of men. You are direct, driven, competitive, and overachieving, right? You are ruthless with women and won't let one get in your way and you don't settle for less. You want the best. You want exactly what you want, right? Mindset number three, B-A-G. So you want to add bold, ambitious, and generous to the previous six personality traits. So that's confident, intelligent, assertive, competitive, intriguing, aggressive, bold, ambitious, and generous all together, right? Women are drawn to you and men want to be you, right? These types of guys are often the billionaires. You know, whatever they want, they get. They have a strong influence in the world and have power, right? I'm sure you you all probably want to be the BAG, the bag, right? The last guy I just described, right? So understand that being alpha gives you the choice to be the man that you want to be and you get what you want, right? But understand that you must sacrifice anything to get what you want. The B-A-G is R-E-A-L, real, right? This stands for ruthlessly enhancing your authority and leverage, right? Always be real, right? Always be relentlessly enhancing your authority and leverage, right? Authority at work, authority amongst your friends and peers. You become an expert, right? The go-to person if you're in whatever it is that you're doing, right? If you're loud, everyone sees you coming, right? If you put a woman before your purpose, you're automatically disqualified from being the top 20% because that woman becomes your weakness, right? You can have a woman by your side, but she cannot be your priority, right? The top 20% do whatever it takes to get what they want, right? They get all the choice and power in the world. They always negotiate and they collect the secrets and the ransoms, right? Become the authority and aim to have leverage wherever you are, no matter what you're doing, aim to be the best, aim for the top. Think, think about this, right? What makes you worthy of respect and authority, right? If you don't have an answer, create it, right? This all comes down with choice and the choice to live really the life that you want to live, right? When you have the mindset to get whatever you want and have the authority and leverage over men and women, understand that you can't let anything or anyone get in your way, right? You come first, right? Start taking cold showers, start practicing being alone, even in a relationship, right? Understand that if she gets in your way of your goals, you must be able to let her go, regardless of what she says or does, right? Regardless of how you feel about her. If she gets in the way, you got to let her go, right? This doesn't mean you can't cry, right? To be a man is to let feelings pass for a moment and then get back on your grind, right? Women are the ones who lie in their emotions, right? That's why they are often in and out of relationships, right? Being a man, it never stops, right? Actually, you know, it, it stops when you die, right? Even when you're in a relationship, your woman will constantly test your manhood. If you're a real man, that relationship won't die, right? She will always look up to you and not down on you. She will respect you, but you must always be on your purpose, right? She will feel it. You don't have to tell her that you'll let her go. She'll understand and get in line because she, because if she doesn't, you will let her go, right? That's how you become a powerful man, a man that gets what he wants, right? You can do this in any area of your life and you can do this in any career path that you choose. What does it mean to always be on your purpose, right? This means having goals after goals after goals after goals, right? Once you accomplish something, it's on to the next, right? You can rest here and there, enjoy your wins and have fun, but it's gotta be a switch, right? Look at some of the top athletes of the world, right? Of all time. 
and look at some of the top men in history and today, right? You got Michael Jordan, Messi, Ronaldo, Kobe, Elon Musk, Thomas Jefferson, and Alexander the Great, you know, just to name a few, right? You accomplish one thing, you're already looking at the next season, right? The next trophy, the next location, the next invention, and so on. If you conquer Earth, you're going to move on to Mars, right? Men and women will respect you, right? And you all know it's respect over love, right? If they don't respect you, they can't truly love you, right? Look, man, if you're a man that wants to have more confidence in going after the women and the things that you want in life, you know, hit that subscribe, hit that like, check out the other content on my channel and shoot me a message on Instagram for one-on-one -on -one help. Man, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I was talking kind of fast and I want to go super in depth on all of these things with you guys. So of course, make sure you hit that like, make sure you hit that subscribe. And of course, check out the other content on this channel because I'm just banging out these videos every single day. I hope this video helps you understand how to become a more powerful man that really gets what he wants, right? You need to be real, right? Relentlessly enhancing your authority and leverage. That's how you become an alpha male. That's how you become a top five to 20% man in this world that gets what he wants. That's it for this video, guys.